Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we have to analyze the Bitcoin price, then we're gonna have a look into Ethereum at the end. Also, we're gonna have a look into the DXY and the NASDAQ. So this video is brought to you by the MCS exchange. Here you can trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100 x leverage. And if you sign up with the link in the video description, you can get up to $55 in a trading bonus. So in the four hour time frame, Bitcoin is still consolidating here at around $30,000. It looks like that we might forming here an ascending triangle, which in theory is a reversal pattern and also a bullish pattern. So we should expect here a breakout to the upside. And if we're going to have four hour closes above $31,500, so above our current resistance, the breakout target would be right here at the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame currently at around $36,000. So this bullish pattern could in theory break out to the upside if we have those four hour closes above resistance but currently it looks like that we might have a breakout to the downside and in that case the target would be down here at twenty six thousand dollars so that would mean that we are going down to revisit the lows here and if they're getting tested and we are ending up with a higher low it is possible that afterwards we're starting a nice run up because we're quite oversold in several time frames so currently it looks like that we might break out to the downside but this is a bullish pattern and if money flow continues to increase here in the in the four hour time frame it is possible that we could even get here a nice breakout to the upside and why i'm getting more bullish is because here in the daily time frame we have now again daily closes within the calvinus channels so we could run into resistance here at 33k at the median line of the calvinus channels and if we're bullish enough we can even break out higher and retest here the main resistance at 37,000 dollars currently so it is possible that we could see a potential local bottom here and a nice relief rally but we have here a huge resistance here at 33k and 37 thousand dollars the same thing goes also for ethereum we have huge resistances at 2350 dollars and up here at 2700 dollars if bitcoin would have that run up and if bitcoin would have a breakout to the downside and also here for ethereum we would revisit here the 1800 dollars area and the reason why we could get a relief rally or even a reversal is because of the dxy as expected yesterday we had a quite severe pullback down towards the median line of the Keltner channels in the daily time frame if we will close again daily candles below it then we would re-enter into the bearish zone here in, in the daily time frame so we would crash again down towards the 100 dollars area and that of course could mean that the dxy is starting a major pullback because in that case we would also start to consolidate back with in the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame and whenever we started to, to consolidate in the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame for the DXY after a parabolic uh, run up like we have seen in the last couple of weeks uh, then we usually are topping out and we're starting into a consolidation phase or major uh, pullback and that of course could be the chance for the crypto and stock market for a fast recovery and maybe even a continuation of a bull market or create a new uh, bull run so the dxy is starting to struggle here if we have again weekly closes below 102 dollars and 70 cents things will start to look more bullish for the crypto market and stock market and this is also what we're seeing right now over on nasdaq we are starting this week quite bullish within the calvinus channels we got saved by last week and in the daily time frame also you can see that we are coming into resistance here at 12,800. And if we're able to push higher, then watch out for 13,700. And that, of course, could mean that we are going to see all the nice run up in the crypto market if Nasdaq in the next coming days, especially today, is able to push higher. Since also here we have an increase in money flow uh, since a couple of days right now. So it's still going to remain bullish for Bitcoin and overall for the crypto market. I think a potential reversal is in the cards, even though we still are not seeing a huge uh, big pumps. We are still in this consolidation phase here, but I think that very, very soon uh, we should be uh, out from this 30k area. It is, of course, still possible that we could see more follow through to the downside, but I think a potential uh, big bottom is very, very close. So with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos thank you again very much for watching and for your great support and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye